Hi, I'm here to talk to you today about how to program your new electronic keypad deadbolt. It's easy to do when you watch this video and read the instruction manual. It only takes a few minutes to do, and here's how. Before programming your keypad deadbolt, make sure the door is open where you can access both sides of the door. Never test the unit with the door closed. First, we recommend setting the bolt direction. This step is very important and should always be done. First, remove the cover. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Press one, two, three, four, five, six lock. Then press zero, zero lock. The bolt will go in and out several times until it has determined the bolt direction. Now test the unit by pressing the lock button and the bolt should extend. Now press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the bolt should retract. Next, changing the program code. This step is also very important and should always be done. First, press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Then, press one, two, three, four, five, six lock. Then, press one, zero lock. Now enter your new six digit code followed by the lock button. Let the unit time out and test the unit to make sure the steps were followed correctly. Next, adding a user code. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Then press two zero lock. You can enter a four or six digit code followed by the lock button. You can also add multiple codes at this point. Wait for the unit to time out. Then test the unit to make sure the steps were followed correctly. Next, deleting a user code. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Enter three zero lock. Enter the user code you wish to remove, followed by the lock button. Wait until the unit times out and test the code to make sure the steps were followed correctly. The unit does not unlock so the code was properly removed. Mm -hmm. 
Next, vacation mode. Vacation mode allows you to disable all user codes while you're away. First, press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Then, enter your programming code, followed by the lock button. Now, enter 5-0-LOCK. Then, press 0-LOCK. Wait until the unit times out to test to make sure that the steps were followed correctly. The only code that should work to unlock the door at this point is the programming code. Now to take the unit out of vacation mode, follow the same steps as previously mentioned. Instead of entering zero lock for the last step, enter one zero, one lock. Wait for the unit to time out, then test to make sure it was done properly. The unit has been successfully taken out of vacation mode. Next, deleting all user codes. First, Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Then enter 4-0 lock. Now press and hold the C button for five seconds. It should beep once and then release the C button. After you hear the second beep, it is out of programming mode. Test the unit to make sure that all the user codes have been deleted. Steps have been followed correctly if the bolt is still locked after you've pressed the user codes. Next, mute mode. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Enter 6-0 lock. Enter zero lock to mute the unit. Wait until the unit times out and then test the unit. The setting only mutes the unit out of programming mode. It will still beep during programming mode. To take the unit out of mute mode, follow the same steps as previously mentioned, and instead of pressing zero lock, press one lock. The unit is now taken out of mute mode. Next, 
setting auto lock time delay. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Enter 7-0-LOCK. Enter the desired time from 10 to 99 seconds, followed by the lock button. For this display, we're going to do 15 seconds. Let the unit time out and follow the next steps to turn on the auto lock. Now turning on the auto lock. Press and hold the set button for two seconds until it beeps and then let it go. Enter your programming code followed by the lock button. Then enter 8-0 lock. Now 0 lock. This turns on the auto lock. If you enter one lock, it will turn off the auto lock. Once the unit has timed out, a little green light should be blinking. This display will take 15 seconds to auto lock. Steps were followed properly if it auto locks after the desired time. Next, restore to factory setting. To do this, remove one battery from the unit. Now, press and hold the set button. While you're holding the set button, reinsert the removed battery. Do not let go of the set button until it gives off a long beep followed by a short beep. After the short beep, you can release the set button. The unit should be now set back to factory settings. All user codes have been deleted and your programming code has been set back to the factory setting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, test the unit to make sure the steps were followed correctly. The unit has been set back to the factory settings. If you should have any concerns about your product, please contact a customer service professional at the number listed in the packaging. Someone should be able to assist you further.